So over two billion people across the world are now either overweight or obese, and believe it or not, that's a figure that's set to increase for at least another 50 years. And whenever you look at what actually follows from obesity, it's things like type two diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and more recently it's been shown to link into numerous cancers and even neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer's. So the total of this is actually set to cost us over $250 billion each year. So even a small impact in obesity can have a really positive effect right across the entire world. I can't go into science in depth in a, in a three minute presentation, but essentially the cornerstone of new weight loss treatments are based around the hypothalamus, an area of the brain that controls uh, fat storage. The newest FDA approved drugs target the hypothalamus and also this implanted device targets nerves which run into the hypothalamus. But that, as I say, is implanted, it's high risk with surgery and it costs $32,000. Now, essentially, what we've done is actually taken another path into the hypothalamus using the vestibular nerve. Again, not something I can go into in, in great detail, but let's just, there's absolutely zero doubt about the vestibular system influencing the hypothalamus. The reason we use the vestibular system is it's so close to the surface of the skin that, it, that we actually have made non-invasive hypothalamic stimulators to actually target and treat obesity. Um, so these devices, uh, they're entirely non-invasive, so you bring the, the risk profile right down, so it moves it from an end-of-the-line treatment to an, a first-line treatment, which is something we've already confirmed with the FDA, uh, and it also brings the cost right down from a few, from tens of thousands of dollars to just a few hundred dollars. Uh, and also, with this technology, we can actually track and authenticate the users, so we know if users are complying with their regimes, and that is something you cannot do with drugs. Uh, we're actually quite a late stage uh, with this technology, so uh, our phase three or pivotal trials have already started. So we're, we're very, very confident we will be the first ever non-invasive treatment for obesity uh, that gets FDA approval in the next 12 to 18 months. And then at that stage, obviously we want to scale up and have this in a reimbursement program for those who are high risk in the high risk category. Uh, also, the, the cornerstone of what we do is actually the technology or the stimulation delivery into the brain. So it's not just obesity that we can target. Uh, we can actually, we've actually started working on several devices. Uh, our second device, we are in the process actually of getting our 510K application ready. And again, in the next 12 to 18 months, we expect that also to be FDA approved. Um, and our, our third gen devices actually are in the area of mental health. We've already started trials in anxiety and depression. So in summary then, really innovative technology. We've, we've made implanted devices low risk, low cost, and we've made them first line therapies. And we can use that to impact the lives of literally billions of people right across the world. Thank you. So in some of the trials you've done, are, they, are there any side effects to this that has been noticed? Yeah, so the side effect profile is actually very, very low and, and actually it's also quite positive. So one of the biggest side effects we have is, is the increase or improvement in deep sleep, which is actually why we've been able to spin out into a secondary sleep device. But when you compare to the drugs uh, that target the hypothalamus, you, get, you tend to get other neurological side effects like mental health aspects, but because we're so targeted in such a low specific dose, actually we don't get that. What's in the clinical studies you've done so far, what's the most uh, powerful result or, or impactful result you've seen? So there's a few sort of ways to look at the data. You can look at sort of general averages. 5% a year is, is a kind of a target. We've actually 2,000 people who have hit 5% in six months. Um, but the other way to look at the data is top down. And we've got a few people who have lost around 100 pounds in, in roughly about 68 months. Is 5% weight loss enough for the FDA to give you a labeling for the treatment of obesity? Uh, yeah, so the, basically that's the sort of general target that you set and then it actually comes down to say tolerability and side effects. So if you had a very, say, say, say you didn't hit 5% but you had a very, very good side effect profile, actually then you, you would still file for approval. Or if you had a very poor side effect profile like some of these implants, you'd have to be higher than that. So 5% is a general guide. 